joined here with a couple Atletico fans. What do you think the score's going to be? Hopefully, one two. What do you say? <laughs> one Manchester, two Atletico. And uh, who's going to score? Who's going to score? Quién? Joao uh, Felix. Hey, uh, Correa. <laughs> All the best. Thank you. Coach Josh, the Atletico fans have got here nice and early. A good atmosphere, to be fair. I do appreciate that. Oh, for sure. Fair play. Very um, friendly, very peaceful. Out in full force, few chance. However, I can't see anything but a United win tonight. Listen, if Cristiano brings the form that he brought in that last game, yeah. um, I believe United are going to go through. If not, we may struggle, um, <laughs> as the last game was a bit of a horror show. Very lucky to come away with. But with that's the that's what one fills one. me with confidence, Josh. We played very, very badly. We maybe played decent for about ten minutes, and we managed to come away with a draw. Yeah. So if we can start a little bit quicker and maintain what we had for that little ten minutes, when obviously Alanga yeah. scored, can easily come away with a win. This isn't the strong, athletic sides that we've seen in the past. I think. Uh, a 2-1 win. Oh, I'm sure. going to go for United 2-1 after extra time. Yeah. The teams are in and the big news coach, George, no Paul Pogba in the starting 11. What are your thoughts? Now, it's a very tough one because um, it's one of them, isn't it? You know you have to play them two holding midfielders. Uh -huh. So you're thinking... Do you play him out on the left? Because obviously you've got to play Bruno attacking midfield. And Alanga's coming in, which I understand because he scored in the last game. But for me, on his night, Paul Pogba can be Manchester United's best player. I think he's yeah. got the most ability in the squad, so I'm sad to see that. But one more, even like as evident as that, wan has got to start tonight. Um, I feel all their threat last game came from Felix. Loddy, the left wing back. Yeah and Felix coming and putting him from the left. Obviously we played Lindelof there last time, but I don't think Dallow's strong enough defensively. Maybe he'll prove me wrong. Fingers uh, crossed he does. Sacrament. Yeah. Hopefully see Pogba, second half. I think we need him tonight. Griezmann's starting for them tonight as well. Come on, Rich. Which is, which is Come on, the boys. Ask us what I'm on today, Jack. What are you on, coach? I'm on a doubler, because I've got my Cantona on. Yeah. Body underneath for one, and then I've got a, a Cristiano on as a base layer. Come on, the Reds! Come on, the Reds!
Paulo Pijá. Given offside, coach. It's given offside. No goal. No oh goal. God. It's half time, 1 0 to Atletico, 2 uh, 1 to Atletico on aggregate. We've been the better team. Uh, I strongly believe we've been the better team. We'll have to look at it back. I don't know what you guys thought at home. It looked like a, a foul on Elanga leading to their goal, like a blatant foul. They've literally gone forward twice and scored two goals, had one disallowed and one allowed. But in my opinion, both should be disallowed. All Black's made an amazing save. And the Coach George, uh, your thoughts? First of all, they get a lot of stick. I think McTominay and Fred, especially Fred, are magnificent in that first half. Um, I just think we need to be a little bit more direct. We're kind of getting the ball on the edge of the box, passing it from side to side, and no one really wants to commit, maybe get a shot away or get a cross in. I just think we need to be a bit, a bit more direct, test the keeper a little bit more, try and find Cristiano in the box. Ronnie B seems to be they're dropping not, deep quite yeah. a lot and creating quite a lot of chances, to be fair. They're, um, not, they're not amazing. No, they're I think if, if we play like that second half, I still think we'll go through, uh, or at least take it to extra time. Come on, the Reds.
so there you have it. Um, one nil on the night to Atletico and we have crashed out of Europe. Very deflated uh, after a promising first half, came out second half. I don't know whether it was a, a poor performance from ourselves or just a very, very well managed game. Well managed game from uh, Simeone's men, or maybe a combination of the two. Coach George, your thoughts? Um, my thoughts are first of all, I said it at the start, very um, threatening on that left and that's that's where the, obviously Lodi has finished the goal off yeah Paul has, has yeah. left his man there um, look like I said I thought we were all, I thought we were decent in the first half I think they managed the game fantastically killed it we're obviously wasting time you know what, what you're going to get when you play against a, a Simeone team I, I think as, as, a, as a coach myself although it's horrible to play against him I admire him very much um, despite having all his best players sold and what whatever, yeah. always seem to to really challenge in, in Europe and, and Spain. And personally, we're going through a bit of a manager crisis at the moment. I know people like Manchester United to be this attackive style of play. I think it's just time that we win games again. And if we're going to bring anyone in, I'd do anything to get it. Personally, I'm not going to lie. I, for me, when we speak about the manager, there's only two names. Uh, that come to my mind. One of them is Simeone. The other is uh, Tuchel at Chelsea. Obviously, Tuchel only if yeah, if it's if it's doable. The there's, yeah. there's only two names. Mm. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think. Um, obviously, it's another trophy this season uh, for United. What needs to change? Let us know in the comments. Who do you think should be the new manager at the club? Before we go, guys, um, there's a lot of different types of content coming very soon um, revolving around the No Limit as, as a business and also as a football team mm -hmm. more to come stay tuned Keep so make sure out, you have that guys. notification bell on like and subscribe guys it means a lot to myself and it means a lot to both of course see you on the next one